you decide to leave or if they have used you enough and they have their new supply ready now let me explain to you this narcissistic people are highly codependent people they cannot be alone they can't they, they cannot function on their own they're not strong enough so they constantly need people around them they constantly need to be able to fill their void so that's why they will constantly have someone ready they are always prepared to leave you no one is permanent for them i want to talk about both scenarios so the first scenario is if they left you and then the second one is if you left them so let's start with the first one if they left you they will flaunt and parade uh, the person they're with their new supplier and tell you how amazing that new person is frequent places that you go to and flaunt their new supply in front of you mind you their new supply definitely thinks that uh, you are the narcissist in this scenario they think that you're a bad person that you're crazy that you're insecure that you're nuts because obviously he's he or she has said yeah this person is bad they're evil they need any what what let's go show them how our relationship is thriving or they won't even say let's go show them how our relationship is thriving they'll just say hey, we go here yeah i don't care but they know you're gonna be there they might even act like wow i didn't i didn't i didn't know this person i didn't know my ex was gonna be here but they knew they did that on purpose they will treat you like you're nothing if they left you they will treat you like you ain't shit ghost you block you treat you like yani the relationship never happened replace you like this how do you be like what Kwani? we what, what's happening here they'll treat you like yani you didn't exist spread lies about you to people and say you were the cause of the breakup mind you if they left you they left you in a state of confusion because you were like i was the one who went through hell you're the one who verbally abused me cheated on me treated me like crap and in some cases even uh, literally physically attacked me and now i'm the crazy one i'm the bad person you've already replaced me i'm nothing you've blocked me ghosted me they will leave you literally like honestly flabbergasted yeah honest, honest to god flabbergasted so this is in the case of if they left you yes and they will spread rumors about you and lies and also still try and turn people against you even your loved ones in the case where you left them in this case you have caused them severe na narcissistic injury these people are very very sensitive wanna catch they can dish it out but they sure as fuck cannot take it and for them it's all about the power that they have over you they love to control people so it's like yeah i have no power over this person whatsoever so it makes them feel weak worthless powerless uh, unwanted rejected and abandoned which in turn will make them lash the fuck out and it's you deciding i i deserve better than this this is not right for me i deserve good so you leave they're like oh una and they don't who fucked you over this <laughs> drugs granted they will still have someone ready to replace you they still have someone that they've been cheating on you with or flirting with but it wasn't at their own time you know for them it's everything is about me and my time and my decisions and my life so it's like you have left me when i wasn't ready to replace you or put this person i was i wasn't done with my game i wasn't done with my plan so it pisses them off but they will still replace you and move on very quickly because they always have people on the sidelines they're talking to that they're flirting with always ready to replace you just so you know they will stalk you make all kinds of accounts even if they left you by the way they will still stalk you and make all kinds of accounts to talk to you and, and abuse you they might even literally stalk you physically so please be very careful they will make other people which um a psychologist uh, named uh, called flying monkeys yeah flying monkeys uh, this term was derived from the wizard of oz the wicked witch used to have flying monkeys to do her bidding her basically her minions so um a narcissist cannot do things on their own and in, in general they strengthen numbers so they can't do things on their own they can't so they need people to coerce and to lie to and say you're a bad person so they need people to attack you as well yeah they need people also to believe their story to believe that that they're the victims so also in life people just be careful who who's giving you a sob story and telling you some shit you don't know who you're dealing with it might all be made up then uh, next thing you know you're in some dumb shit with a freaking narcissistic son of a bitch so they will make other people even attack you on social media you know, sometimes even physically guys so be very careful they're really fucked up they're really sadistic they will threaten you and spread false things about you spread all of your secrets and insecurities anything that you ever told them in confidence just so you know no such thing it's all out there it's all out there in the streets 
everything from your sex life let's say if you guys have videos and photos that's the time they start circulating the web anything you've been through that was in silence things that are very hurtful towards you they will spread it and obviously they'll see things that they did to you they'll say you did to them they might even make up all kinds of crap Cr guys lies crazy lies that you haven't done they might even say you're a thug or something you know they're nuts but they just have to get people to hate you some may even try and attack you physically and in this case please do alert your, alert your loved ones first off your loved ones need to be in the loop and alert the authorities during this time when they're sending you threats and everything constantly stalking you keep receipts guys keep the receipts take screenshots take photos everything honestly during this time i'll tell you to keep your silence don't say anything don't say anything do not speak let them do all the talking let them do all the threats you just keep quiet you just gather the information you might need it later then now on the last stage which is the 50 which is a 50 50 percent chance which is the hovering stage like i said it may or may not happen it doesn't always happen hover is derived from the term hover which is also another word for vacuum which is they try to suck you back in during this time they'll try and reach out to you maybe they remember your number or they'll try and reach out on your social media using accounts that you have not blocked and they'll say things like they've changed they'll say things like they found god they're going to therapy or they're doing all of them at the same time they go to church now they're constantly seeing a therapist if they were addicted to a certain drug they'll tell you they've changed they went to rehab and they don't take that drug anymore they'll tell you they're clean now which is a lie they just will hide it better and uh yes uh narcissists are, are very prone to addictions it's very easy for them to be addicted to stuff because they like to avoid in a work they like to avoid what's happening on the inside that's why they constantly need external validation they need sex they need to fill that void so they're usually addicted to stuff that helps them escape so they're addic they're very prone to addictions like sex drugs gambling etc yeah so they'll probably say oh i don't gamble anymore or i don't sleep with a lot of people as i used to anymore i've changed i'm clean now i i, I can be better for you they may try and reach out to your people as well yeah they'll try and reach out through your people so may your crew stay solid i right? may your crew be solid my people will be like you know i think he or she has changed you should give them a chance you need some solid ass motherfuckers around you and people are like hey, sh they're reaching out blocked nigga let me give you a crazy ass example of how uh an extra to reach out to me i get a call one day from my sister and she's like okay so who the hell is let's call him narc who the hell is narc and i'm like oh remember that time i made videos about the uh the narcissist ex i was with in me she's like how does he have my number i'm like what she's like yeah this nigga just reached out to me she was like hey, but let me just send you screenshots this nigga texted my sister and was like ati <laughs> these people are nuts they are nuts First off, how did he get my sister's number? Let's start there. But he probably took it as we when we were together and he was just waiting to use it. Yeah, that's the only logical explanation that I have for that. So he reached out to my sister and he was like, hey, my sister is called Caitlin. So he was like, hey, Caitlin, I'm reaching out to you to talk to Nicole because maybe she listened to you. And because she's not getting it, tell her to be mature. <laughs> tell her to leave me and my family alone until we both moved on she needs to let go she needs to let go she needs to leave me alone mind you guys i'm in a relationship at this point i do not speak to this person at all my sister was like what the fuck is this i was just thinking my goodness this guy is psycho what the hell? how did he get my number i was like i know so you guys these motherfuckers they will try and reach out even through dumb ways like that she oh she needs to grow up tell her to leave me alone because like <laughs> i moved on all right <laughs> <laughs> but you see they're doing that because they need to get a reaction from you to be like oh fuck are you crazy first off do not reach out to my sister he thought i'd be like oh what leave my sister don't I, i'm not even talking to you i don't want anything but that's how they got you now you see but with the knowledge that i have i have i have acquired on this matter i didn't reply I, I, let me tell you guys when they're hoovering you act like they are nothing like who are you i don't even know you don't exist my nigga you useless okay act like you don't know them act like you don't know what's happening because that's what they try to do like haters they'll try and get to you and if you react that's how they get you act like nothing happened as i said you just stay silent keep receipts just stay silent stay, stay silent 
because you owe them no fucking explanation and you actually do not owe them your time uh moving on they might uh, get try and get you back using self-harm and may or may not attempt suicide they lie that they they, they, they can't live without you so they'll either try and kill themselves or say they try to kill themselves ah uh, i've been through that now i'm sick i <laughs> i know he was like oh guy karibu ni dead guys <laughs> don't be coerced by them come on attack kukufa no offense kufa <laughs> i know people are like oh bitch that's no but come on attack kukufa that's what she want my nigga go die go die go die go die you know why i don't give a fuck my niggas using your own life as a form of manipulation do you understand how nuts these motherfuckers are then you don't give a fuck about your life so what makes you think they give a fuck about yours so please if someone is willing and able to harm themselves kill themselves and they're the ones who fucked you over to get you back watch a jewel uko wewe nyamaza ama kama nataka kujinself uko na uko wewe nyamaza weka home i at you know john and ali nini ali dairy eh one thing i was told but this is adult i remember i told my story too and she told me nicole nicole if ever someone tells you oh you leave me i'm going to kill myself leave them don't talk to them go completely silent <laughs> She was like because she knows a friend who the daughter she was arrested for four months because a nigga did that to her but him he actually passed away and she was texting him so wale kwa natukana na hapo on text so now the the evidence is showing that she was coercing him to kill himself so don't talk mtu anakuambia anataka kujua wewe nyamaza wewe ni mwache huko these narcissistic motherfuckers are crazy i have been put in a place where I, the story was switched up on me the, this person said i tried to kill them you guys one day one day one day maybe maybe i'll tell you the story but maybe one day i'll just give you like a glimpse but just know what some bullshit but yeah so they might try and use their nini their life as a form of manipulation which is actually just like nuts so avoid these motherfuckers at all motherfucking costs they might also use lies like i got into a car accident or I, I'm, I'm, i'm homeless or i go i was mugged i need your help so leave them alone please they will try and use everything to hoover you back in they do this to try and get to try and tap into your empathy because they know you're empathetic they, they know you care so say hey you know hey you know manzi i got hit by a car oh my leg is broken my arms are you what you ignore ignore guys ignore every dumb ass stupid ass reason they're using to get to you ignore because they're just trying to manipulate you only to get you back by the way to fuck you up again they might even try and use literal insults let's say you ignored them it might lead to insults like when you motherfucker when you whore when you bitch or you ain't shit because now your silence you not agreeing and um falling into that trap which is now triggering them so in turn they have to hurt you because now they hurt that's like their last hail mary like this is all i got left you know the last kick of a dying horse so what i'm gonna tell you all kinds of dumb shit you know i am biwa that i should take my pills for my aids so <laughs> guys now when i'm speaking here i'm speaking from experience but don't ever take the bait do not take the bait watch out you bongo shit over there and your dms or text or whatever you ignore them they do not exist okay keep your peace focus on your life focus on your journey do not let the devil distract you using his demons so on this earth say god you deal with that motherfucker me i'm not going to deal with it i'm going to focus on what you want me to focus on yeah they are very relentless they might this might go on for years and years and years they will probably never stop hoovering you. Yes, not everyone goes through hoovering, but there's some who go through hoovering for years and years and years. Even after you've moved on, you've even gotten married and you have children, they will continue hoovering. And note that hoovering doesn't mean that they love you or that they regret the way that they treated you. They just want to see if they still have power over you and if they can use you again. They need you for validation for stuff. They don't need you for who you are. They don't give a fuck. who you are is is for them not for you they don't give a fuck about you and your wants and your needs and your life like your 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 irrelevant your wants your needs your your, your emotions they irrelevant you are mainly alive solely for the purpose to to attend to their needs so remember that even if they try and tell you they want to be your friend do not be fooled 
do not be fucking fooled you'll be told it's immature to not be friends with your ex that's bullshit maturity is knowing this relationship i have with this person will not serve me in any way shape or form it'll take from me it won't help me at all so choose yourself love and choose yourself respect and that's the end of it um the best advice i'll give you guys that i'll leave you guys with is do not react I know for some people it's easier said than done but this is a lesson that i learned and it's one of the best things i'm gonna lie to you that i've ever learned in my life do not react these relationships make you stronger if you choose to see the bright side they do make you stronger it made me a very stronger and a wiser person than i was when i began when i, when I started out in that relationship you don't have to stop being empathetic you don't have to mm, stop being a loving person and understanding you just now are you're wise and smart enough to know I cannot be empathetic with just anyone and everyone. Not everyone deserves my empathy and my love because some people will actually just take advantage of that. Not everyone deserves your time, your space, your energy. Please, not everybody. And just because someone has been through shit doesn't mean they can put you through shit as well. So for that, please, let's see therapist one to slash punchy bag slash their lover slash their parent as in. When, when you're done, be done. See at you, wishy-washy like this. They take that as weakness. Okay? That is the end of my episode. I love you guys so much. Be strong. Be strong. Be fearless. Love the shit out of yourself. Respect the shit out of yourself. Do not let anyone walk all over you or treat you like shit, okay? Because you deserve the best, okay? Jesus did not die on the cross for you to be disturbed by idiots, by the way. <laughs> That's not why Jesus died on the cross, please. And remember, God said you are worthy even before you were born. I love you guys. God bless you. Till next week. And purchase bags from callybeauty.ke. Bye.